Hallelujah. I am Prophet Israel Leshe of the Revolution. I want to bring the word of God to you this moment. God has a plan for every man, especially those who are in Christ. If you are in Christ, you are blessed with the inheritance that God has preserved for his children. In the book of Haggai chapter 2 and verse 6, the Bible says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heaven and the earth, and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, say the Lord. God's desire is to bring about your desire. Right now we are in the month of September. September is a blessed month. A month of supernatural shift. God is going to shake things around you for your sake. He's going to shake the financial world. He's going to shake the marital world. He's going to shake your academic world to bring about your desire and your expectation. The Bible says that the expectation of the job shall not be good. God's plan and will is that your desire your expectation be brought into reality. It's not only, it's not enough for you to have expectations, but those expectations need to be made a reality. You need to physically walk in the dreams that you have. You need to physically walk in the visions that God has given to you. He said here, I will shake all nations. So he's going to shake the nation and the desire of all nations shall come. Now, in this scripture, he is talking about the financial provision for the house of God. In the verse 9 says, in the verse 8 says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of course. That the glory of the latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord. So the glory is going to be better than that of the former. I don't know where you are today, financially, academically, married. I come to announce to you that God is bringing about a better glory, a greater glory, a supernatural glory by the hand of God. That's why September is your month of supernatural shift. God is shifting things for yourself. God is causing things to be shifted in your marriage. God is causing things to be shifted in your health. God is causing things to be shifted in your finances so that your desire will be granted. In this month of September, you will hold your testimony in your hand in the name of Jesus. I speak and I declare. That the things you have gone through through the years, through the months, through the weeks, through days, those evil things, those evil reports, those evil experiences that you've had, the Lord will by His hand and by His power bring about that desire of yours, bring about your deliverance, bring about your expectation in the name of Jesus. The Bible speaks of Peter who had taught all through the night for a cash but did not cash anything the bible says that jesus gave him a word he said launch out for a great cash he looked around he said master we have toyed all night but we have caught nothing but nevertheless i die walk if there anyone who will believe on the word of the lord is out i'm telling you by the spirit spirit, spirit of, of the lord that by faith your wall is about to receive a testimony by faith your eyes is about to see the miracle that God is about to wrought in his name by faith your hands will touch those expectations your hands will feel them your hands will touch them John said that that which we have seen and heard and our hands have handled of the word of life 
that declare we unto you that ye may have fellowship with us. So that will be your portion this month. September is your month to touch the desires of your heart. September is the month to see the desires of your heart. September is the month to walk in the realities of the things that you have expected. I announce to you that the angels of the Lord has been released. As you are hearing me now, God's angels has been released on your behalf to bring about your expectation. God is about, is about to check things for your sake. And as I'm declaring it to you now, as many of you that will say amen, the Lord will begin to shake things for your sake, to shake jobs for your sake, to shake finances for your sake, to shake your marriage for your sake, to shake your health for your sake, to bring about your expectation, your relationship that has gone down. God is bringing a revival. God is shaking things to bring for restoration of marriages that have broken down, restoration of relationships that have broken down. There are families that have torn apart. God is bringing forth a restoration, a shaking a shekim that will unite fathers and children together that will unite fathers and mothers together that will that will unite brothers and sisters together that will unite brothers and brothers together sisters and sisters together that will unite good friends faithful friends together god is shaking things around god is shaking things around in your job that those uh, that 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 had denied you your promotion will begin to give you that which is yours they will begin to bring forth your entitlement. They will restore you back 10 times what belongs to you. I declare, as you are hearing me now, those things are taking place in the name of Jesus. As you are hearing me now, God is taking you by the Spirit into the places that you ought to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody hearing me now. Every defense in your place of work, I see a defense, I see a wall that has been laid round about your place of work against you. You have tried to be seen as a better, to be seen as a better person. You've tried to work so that people will recognize your talent, will recognize your potential, but as if all your effort goes down the drain. All your effort is overlooked and despised. I pray for you right now. Those walls are being broken. You will begin to experience favor. Favor before your boss. Favor before your colleagues. In the name of Jesus. There's someone else. Not long ago, you were, you were accused of something you know nothing about. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, your time for vindication has come. God is bringing you out of that affliction and the Lord is restoring your honor and your position in the name of Jesus. I pray also for the sick, someone with a heart pain on the right side, the, uh, the right side of your chest, right, the left side of your chest. There's a pain at that place. I don't know what happened, but I'm feeling a sharp pain, a sharp pain that affects you when you lift your hand. Is affect you. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Healing by the Spirit of God. As you are hearing me now, the hand of God is upon you. Healing, healing is taking place right now. I rebuke that pain. I rebuke that pain. Someone at the lower abdomen, there's the sharp pain. I speak and I declare that sharp pain to leave you right now. To leave you right now. To leave you right now. In the name of Jesus by the spirit of the living God. As you are hearing me, that pain is leaving you. It's leaving you. It's leaving you. It's leaving you. In the name of Jesus. Someone, you are, you are feeling praise as you are listening to this prayer now. You are feeling pain. You are feeling praise as if you want to, you want to be. I declare right now, that pain is leaving you now. It's leaving you now. As you are going to go and be, the pain will leave you. In the name of Jesus, I speak against every arthritis every arthritis every arthritis pain uh, 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 on your leg i declare right now in the name of jesus every pain every pain that arthritis leaves you right now that arthritis leaves you right now in the name of jesus i rebuke sugar diabetes i rebuke sugar diabetes hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia 
I rebuke it. I rebuke that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I speak help. I command your body to recover in the name of Jesus. The healing power of God is resting upon you right now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I speak right now to someone. You are having a blood vision. Someone with a blood vision. Ah, ah. Also, as I'm speaking right now, someone with a mouth pain. You're feeling a severe pain in your mouth. I declare right now that pain to leave you right now. That pain to leave it. As I'm talking, you are seeing, you are experiencing a swelling. There's a little swelling uh, by your jaw. In the name of Jesus, that pain leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus, the pain leaves you. I rebuke that pain. I rebuke that blood vision. I rebuke that blood vision. I rebuke that blood vision. I rebuke the pain. I rebuke the pain. In the name of Jesus, pain at your neck, at your neck, at your neck. Rana Saba Leba The pain at your neck. I rebuke that pain right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak. I command recovery. I command recovery. I command recovery. In the name of Jesus. There are about eleven of you yeah, listening to me. After this, you're going to be listening to me. 11 of you, the healing power of God is oppressing upon, upon you to deal with HIV, AIDS, HIV. Right now, I rebuke the spirit of HIV. I rebuke every contamination with your blood. I rebuke that infirmity. In the name of Jesus, I speak and I declare healing. Health be restored. Health be restored. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke us. I rebuke us. I rebuke us. By the power of God, I rebuke asthma in the name of Jesus. I rebuke asthma. Someone with an AH, the power of God is coming upon you. You are going to be turned to AA in the name of Jesus. AA, AA, in the name of Jesus. We turn the S to an A. We turn the S to an A in the name of Jesus. Listen, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And as we are praying in the name of Jesus, your body is responding to the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus is a temple not for sickness and disease, but the temple of the Holy Ghost, a temple for life. I declare right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, life be made manifest. Life run through. Therefore, every sickness, every infirmity, every infection, every disease leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus. I am also talking to someone here financially. Where they have been locked. You don't know how to bring about an increase in your finances. Right now, the Lord, the Lord opened doors for you and caused finances to come from places you never expected. In the name of Jesus. Someone here you put in for a contract. Yes, the contract has been awarded. Yes, the contract is your pay. Yet you discovered that you needed an increase. There need to be an increase in that amount that was that was that was approved. I pray in the name of Jesus supernaturally let there be an increment let there be an increase in the name of Jesus the money that we will pay to you will be more than what is expected in the name of Jesus contracts have been awarded as many of you that are listening to me right now and you have put in uh, 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 for a contract I speak and I declare that those contracts will be awarded in the name of of Jesus, you are blessed. You are blessed. Someone, your mother is sick, critically sick. I speak health to your mother. I speak recovery in the name of Jesus. She is healed right now. I'm talking to you right now. She is healed right now. She is healed right now. In the name of Jesus, cancer of the throat is being healed. Cancer of the throat is being healed. Cancer of the lungs, bladder is being healed. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You are blessed. Someone about your daughter, you are asking for a change. You want God to change her. You want God to transform her. Right now, the Lord is answering that prayer. Right now, the Spirit of the Lord is arresting her. In the name of Jesus, she is going to be turned into an evangelist for the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your academic challenges is being settled right now. Your academic challenges is being settled right now. In the name of Jesus, every difficulty with your academics, every di difficulty 
with payment of school fees and the, and the rest. The law is handling it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive supernatural payment, supernatural payment, strange favor. In the name of Jesus, someone is as if your parents have abandoned you and you are not receiving help from anywhere. I declare right now the Lord raise men to favor you. The Lord raise men to support you financially and otherwise. In the name of Jesus. There's someone you are asking the Lord for a kind of business. You have about two or three businesses. I speak and I declare the Lord give you direction. I'm saying something that has to do with help. The Lord grant you the financial. And as you take up the, that, 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 that business that has to do with help, the Lord grant you the finances. Doors will open in the name of Jesus. Thank you. The other one has to do with something about, with, uh, about the, the pressure. It has to do with men or something. The Lord give you direction in the name of Jesus. The plan of God for you are plan of God, not of evil. To give you unexpected aim. To give you unexpected aim. Those desires of yours, God's will is that you walk in the reality, in the realities of it. I pray you will not see shame this way. You will walk in your destiny. You will walk in your desire. An end has come. The Bible says, surely there is an end. And the expectation of the just shall not be cut off. I declare there is an end to that affliction. And that affliction is ending now. That end is now. The end to that soul. The end to that death in the family. The end to that affliction in the body. The end to that financial crisis. The end to that lack. The end to that frustration. The end to that depression. I declare, surely... There is an end and that end has come now enter into your blessing for the expectation of the just shall not be cut off i declare your expectation is being fulfilled now the angels of god is being released right now and your expectation is coming to reality god bless you as you say amen to this broadcast the lord will fulfill all your desires in jesus name it is your month of supernatural achievement. it is your month to enter into your blessing God bless you.